Here's a question for you. How many calories does it take to put on a kilo of fat? It's just 7,700. That's all it is, 7,700. So that means if you eat a couple of slices of bread a day, maybe an extra portion of pasta or rice, the odd hamburger blowout, you can put on a kilo a month quite easily. 10, 12 kilos a year. So it doesn't take much. Pay attention to what you put in your mouth because it's going to end up on your thighs, on your hips and your tummy. There's a statistic that pharmaceutical companies don't like to have bandied around. It's called number needed to treat. It's jargon, but what it means is there's never been a drug invented that works in 100% of people. Sometimes it's 7, sometimes it's 10, sometimes it's 20 or more people have to be treated for one person to benefit. And that's a bit scary if the drug that you're on is life-saving. Like, for example, a medication to prevent a blood clot in the heart after you've had an artery unblocked. The good news is, though, that there's a revolution going on in laboratories around the world, explaining at least part of the reason why drugs work in some people and not in others. And the reason is in your genes. This is an area that's called pharmacogenomics, in which we're understanding how the individual patient's genome affects how they respond to medications, and then based on that knowledge, uh, we can prescribe medications uh, more smartly to individual patients. When someone's had a blocked artery in the heart opened up, they often have a stent put in, a little cylinder of metal to keep it open. The trouble is that the stent can clot, at least early on, which is why the person is put on a drug called clopidogrel for a period of time. That's right. Uh, clopidogrel, uh, usually along with aspirin, is given in people who have uh, uh, heart conditions, particularly uh, those who have had or at risk for myocardial infarction. Although most people respond pretty well to clopridogrel, there are a subset of individuals that don't respond very well. And indeed, there is a certain variation in the genome of up to a third to a half of people that will render them less likely to respond to clopridogrel. With dangerous implications. The patient can have another heart attack even after the stent is placed. And uh, if one were to know about this non-responsiveness, uh, an alternative medication that might be more effective could be prescribed.